In two days' time, the world will be remembering one of the bloodiest days of our modern history and one that's changed the course of global events for the past two decades. But ahead of those 9-11 commemorations, Afghanistan's resistance fighters in the Panjshir Valley are remembering the killing of the opposition figurehead Commander Massoud. This year's anniversary is, of course, particularly pertinent with the Taliban claiming to be back in control of Afghanistan. For more on this story, we can speak now to Wida Miran, who's a lecturer in conflict, security and development at the University of Exeter in the UK. Thank you so much for being with us here on France 24. Now, as I was saying, 20 years have gone by since Commander Massoud's death, a death that was largely overshadowed by the atrocities committed in the US just two days later. But his role shouldn't be underestimated. Thank you. Um, uh, yes, uh, Commander Massoud was uh, actually uh, killed two days before 9-11. Uh, and that shows the fact that uh, his uh, assassination was organized by Al-Qaeda and uh, most likely with the cooperation of the Taliban. Um, it speaks a volume for itself because um, it shows that Al-Qaeda feared him. Al-Qaeda was concerned that in uh, um, following uh, the attacks of 9-11 that he would become an ally to the West and he would become a, um, a major force inside Afghanistan who would uh, uh, retaliate against Al-Qaeda and who would be reinforced to fight against Al-Qaeda and, uh, um, and the Taliban. And Commander Masood, uh, if we look at his... Uh, life history and uh, his career as a, a leader, a military leader in Afghanistan, we see that he stands out um, uh, amongst the uh, Mujahideen commanders in Afghanistan, that he was a military strategist, um, a very successful military strategist uh, uh, in many regards. He was a charismatic leader and um, also in, uh, a patriot who became the icon of resistance in Afghanistan. And um, that resistance that he led as a charismatic military leader in the 1980s uh, during the uh, Russian invasion in Afghanistan and later on when the Taliban took over Afghanistan, he resisted in the Valley of Panjshir against the Taliban. And uh, he acquired the uh, nom de guerre uh, line of Panjshir. Uh, because of his resistance against both the Russian, uh, uh, the Soviet troops, and also uh, against the Taliban, uh, he, ha he has been revered amongst uh, Afghans as a, uh, as a um, leader, a hero, and the, no the name that he has made for himself. Now that is because of his prestigious name right now that a lot of people put their trust in his son, Ahmad Masoud, who is much younger and not experienced in the battlefield. Nonetheless, he carries that weight of uh, his father's reputation. Now, as you were saying there, his legacy and his memory still lingers in the shape of his son, both before and, of course, uh, since the Taliban's recent takeover of power in Afghanistan. Exactly, yes. And um, that is why, uh, actually, even right now, uh, and the Taliban and, uh, are, uh, are worried about uh, this resistance that is being formed in Afghanistan, le led by Ahmad Masoud, his son. And if we look at the Taliban's narrative recently, um, uh, one of the Haqqani members, uh, Haqqani network members in Kabul, tried to actually appease the uh, resistance movement by speaking highly of Ahmad Shah Masoud and calling him a martyr and uh, um, a true hero. And that actually says a lot because it shows that his, this, this group, the Taliban Haqqani network included in that uh, category, were the staunch uh, enemies of Ahmad Shah Massoud and the resistance uh, right, the movement right now. Nonetheless, they try to uh, distance themselves uh, from a very hostile uh, narrative and get closer by appeasing to uh, the uh, uh, resistance uh, movement and praising Ahmad Massoud in a bit to uh, 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 in a bit to appear more positive. What do you think, in your own humble opinion, what do you think that Massoud, Commander Massoud, would make of the fact now that the insurgents, the Taliban insurgents, are back in power in Afghanistan? 
I think if he were alive, the situation would have been rather different. I think because of this weight and support that he had, um, uh, the resistance movement would have been much more stronger right now. Um, following his death, it was uh, his, he was replaced essentially by uh, um, another commander who, was, who did not have that much of uh, an influence uh, uh, inside the country. And I... I it is very much possible, given his reputation and given his uh, um, skills and a military strategist that he was, probably Afghanistan wouldn't, in some regards, wouldn't be at the uh, in the situation that it is right now. And definitely, the wars in uh, in Panjshir right now, the resistance resistance in Panjshir right now, might have been much stronger. Now, all of that being said, my analysis is essentially based on um, our readings and studies of military uh, studies of military studies and analyzing his uh, um, military st strategies and him being a charismatic leader. And that being said, there are certain uh, certain periods in Afghan history that um, the charisma and authority of Mas'ud did not necessarily translate into um, a legal and uh, legitimation inside Afghanistan, which is normally based on social science studies, is required of a military leader who steps inside the government. And that that period was in the 90, early 1990s when the Mujahideen took over Afghanistan and war was going on in the country. So a number of conditions actually prevented Mas'ud to uh, unify the government and unify other forces as at the time that he was the Ministry of Defense. So there are chances that at least right now, if we analyze the resistance in Panjshir, it would have had a different shape and probably much stronger were he alive. Wida Mehran from the University of Exeter. That's all we have time for. But thank you very much for being with us here on France 24. Thank you.